today we are going to discuss the question answers which were given in the online training on the topic digital technology for children with special needs organized by CIET and NCERT from 9th October 2023 to 30th October 2023 in which there were five different days five different uh, perspectives discussed on 9th October it was discussed digital technology for the beyond policy perspectives need and scope on 10th October uh, there was a program on digital initiatives for Divyan on 11th October, assistive technology. On 12th October, universal design of learning. And on 13th October, adaptive learning through technology. And post-session quiz was there uh, and these were the questions. So here are the answers also I am providing you so that you are also able to generate your certificate once when you receive. Uh, the score above 70 percent so in this quiz, post session quiz first question was the principle of action and expression in udl predominantly works on the primary network of so its answer is strategic learning what is the association of technology with udl its answer is technology facilitates udl a student of v grade with visual deficiency should be Treated at par with peers in the classroom and provided support through audio and tactile. There was another question. Children with visual and hearing difficulties will be benefited by graphics. Content given in tactile graphics. Which of the following is not a challenge in implementing inclusive education? So the option is, correct answer is discrimination and bias towards students with disabilities. Guidelines for the development of e-content for children with disabilities were formally released in June 2021 by Ministry of Education. There was another question. What is the latest free artificial intelligence AI technology tool from Google helping teachers for content development? And its answer is BARD. Here is another question. Which is the ideal font to be used for digital presentations among the below? So it is, its answer is Arial font. RPWD Act came into enforcement in which year? In 2017, that is the answer. The following is not the major principles of UDL and out of all the given options, this answer is correct. Different means of verbal communication. Which of the following accessible content libraries provide free access to persons with print disabilities? And its answer is Sugamya Pustakale and Bookshare. There was another question. What is the ideal point size for text in digital presentations? And its answer is 24. Dictation feature in MS Word supports which of the following Indian languages? And it is English, Hindi, Marathi, all of the above is the answer. The Digital India program with the vision to transform India into a digitally empowered society and knowledge economy was launched by the government of India in the year 2015. Which of the following book reading software can be used for reading accessible mathematics and science books? So it is Thorium Reader. That is the answer. The new education policy was launched in the year 2020. NEP 2020 as we keep listening. Which screen reading software is pre-installed on Android phones? And its answer is TalkBack. What is SAMR model? And its answer is Substitution, Augmentation, Modification, Redefinition. <coughs> Sorry. Dyslexia is associated with reading disorder. There is, there is another question. Inclusive education refers to education of children with disabilities in mainstream schools. The principle of representation in UDL predominantly focuses upon why should one learn and sustain. The main principles of universal design for learning UDL are provide multiple means of representation, multiple means of action and multiple means of engagement. This is the answer here. What technology apps can support a child with speech difficulties in a classroom for participation? Its answer is AAC. What is a unique facility which teachers can use in Jamboard for Google, from Google? It is Share. The Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, were adopted by the United Nations in 2016. 
children with speech impairment can be assisted by encouraging them to express thoughts in the classroom which type of mouse can help most in typing for children with severe gross motor difficulties due to cerebral palsy and its answer is smiley ball what color contrast percentage should we maintain minimum between the background and the text and its answer is 25 what can be a fine motor difficulty that acts as a barrier for children during writing and its answer is holding and last question was barkha a reading series for all an innovative exemplar developed by ncert is a set of 40 stories and its answer is it is available in both print and digital form so by attempting this quiz your questions may be in different sequence but the questions are same for this post session quiz so attempt all the questions and uh, you can refer this question answer media which i am uploading on youtube and get the full marks so that you also get your certificate Thank you so much everyone.